in this time of deep sorrow and loss, I want to extend my heartfelt condolences to each and every one of you. The passing of our president has left a void that is difficult to comprehend. And I understand the weight of grief that we all carry in our hearts. But in the midst of this darkness, I want to offer words of encouragement and strength as your minister. And like a mother consoling her children when the head of the house, when the head of the state house, when the head of the Namibian house has gone to rest. Our president was a visionary leader who believed in the power of unity, progress, and the potential of our great nation. He entrusted us at the presidency with the responsibility of serving the people of Namibia. And it is now more important than ever that we rise to the occasion. We must remember that our work is not just a job, but it is a calling to serve our fellow citizens and uphold the values that our rested president held dear. Let us therefore draw inspiration from his unwavering dedication and commitment to the betterment of our nation and let it fuel our resolve to continue his legacy. In times like this, it is natural to feel overwhelmed and uncertain about the future. But I want to assure you that we are not alone. We have each other, a strong and resilient team that can weather any storm. Together we can navigate through this difficult time and emerge stronger on the other side. Let us lean on one another for support, offering a helping hand and a listening ear to those who need it the most. Let us honor our president's memory by continuing to work with passion, integrity, and a deep sense of purpose. Let us strive to make a positive impact in the lives of our fellow citizens, just as our president did. Colleagues, remember, we are part of something greater than ourselves. We are part of a legacy that stretches beyond this moment. And it is up to us to carry it forward. Our president's vision, his dreams for our nation are now in our hands. Together we can honor his memory and build a brighter future for Namibia. Let us find strength in unity, hope in the face of adversity, and inspiration in the legacy of our beloved president. As we light these candles tonight, let their flames symbolize the eternal spirit of our president, guiding us through the darkness and inspiring us to carry on his vision. Let it remain, remind us of the power of unity, compassion, and hope. In conclusion, colleagues, the president performed his mandate with a sense of purpose, with a sense of mission, and with a sense of agency. 
agency, especially during the past few years. And when I look at this, I was reminded of Philippians 3 verse 14 that says, I press on to reach the end of the race and to receive the heavenly prize for which God through Jesus Christ is calling us. This was not to finish a term, but to complete the race that was set before him. For his race was not tied to a political term of office. He has finished in a sterling fashion and bowed out honorably. Now he went to sleep and rested from the toils of this world. Team Presidency, thank you. Thank you for your unwavering commitment and dedication to the cause that our arrested president championed for. Economic development and prosperity for all, where no one should feel left out. Good governance and delivery of effective and efficient service to the people of Namibia. Let us continue to support one another and work towards a better tomorrow. Stay strong, stay united. We will miss his towering figure. We will miss his soft footsteps in the corridors of this beautiful building. We will miss his thunderous voice and infectious laughter. Let us hold hands. May the soul of our departed president and our boss rest in eternal peace and may his legacy continue to inspire us all. I thank you and may God bless and comfort each one of us. And above all, let us hold hands. And I thank you. <laughs>